Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here. And Today I'm making beautiful teardrop earrings with artistic wire. We are using 20 gauge artistic wire. I need cutters, round pliers, flat pliers, and my bail making pliers, and a variety of beads. So we will start with about six inches of 20 gauge artistic wire, and I am going to do a little loop about three to four inches from one end. So we're using the smallest part of the beadalon bail making pliers, and we're just going to twist it around into a loop, having the wires go straight out to either side. So now, I'm going to just bend it at a bit of an angle and up, and that's going to be the top of the teardrop. So using our smaller round nose pliers, I'm just going to bend it out and up, just a little bit of a jog for the top. And now we are going to put the two pieces together so we can make the teardrop the same size. And using a round form, we are going to wind the wires around. This is a Crayola marker. I use this one a lot for the round part. And then we are just going to do a little jog at the bottom with our round nose pliers. And that's where the bottom loop is going to be. Now separate them and create that little loop. I want it quite small, so I'm using my smaller round nose pliers. I'll link up all my tools in the description below. So now we're going to continue the teardrop using the just edge of the marker. So we finish the teardrop shape, adjust it so it's nicely centered. Now hold it firmly with your thumb and finger and bend that end around over the top loop. Clip it flush. These are the Zeron flush cutters. And we are going to just bend that edge out a bit to form the loop to hang the earring hook on. So make a nice centered loop there, hold it with the flat nose pliers, bend that little end around and clip the wire flush at the back. So now you can pinch in the pokey ends. These are the Zeron tweezer nose pliers. They're very handy for just pushing the, in the end of the wire smooth out the teardrop so it's straight and there we have our basic shape. So now to attach the beads we're just going to bend the end of a couple inches of wire into a little hook. We're going to hook it in the bottom and close up that loop. Now pinch in the end with the tweezer nose pliers so the end is closed and now we are going to add our beads. I have a variety of six millimeter cat's eye beads and some faceted crystal beads and some four millimeter beads as well. I always like to put in a little metal spacer bead as well. It makes it a little more cohesive with the wire. So now we're gonna hook in the end at the top loop. Take the tweezer nose pliers to bend that wire down and then clip it flush. These are the micro shear flush cutters from Zeron. The Zeron tools are a great quality. And take that end with the tweezer nose pliers and pinch it in so it's firmly in place. Do any little last minute adjustments that you need to do to make sure it's straight and even And there is our piece. Would make a great pendant too, or you can do a set of earrings and a pendant or a necklace. So now we have about one and three quarters inches of wire. I would use Argentian silver or any hypoallergenic wire to make the hooks. We're using our bail making pliers from Beadalon to create the hooks. I'm making them both at the same time, so they're the same size. Hold it firmly and we are going to bend the ends out on a bit of an angle to finish the hooks. Now separate them and you have to 
file the end so we're using this wire rounder tool from Beetalon to round out the end. Now open it up and slide on your teardrop. And there you have your beautiful teardrop earrings. Now if you want to make the beads dangling in the teardrop we're going to do it slightly differently. We'll start the same way with the loop at the top. So using our bail making pliers to make that little loop at the top and then bend it out. So just adjust it so it's nicely centered there. And now we could put the two wires together again to form the bottom of the teardrop. So get our marker, bring the wire right around this time because we're not doing a loop at the bottom. So we're just going to bring the wires right around to form our teardrop. Adjust it as you wish. And then you can separate them. So from there, you might have to adjust it a little bit and hold it firmly between your thumb and finger. If the end is short, especially you're going to need your pliers to grab it. Cut the end flush and then bend the wire out at an angle to create the loop at the top for the hook. So bring the wire right around, make sure it's centered, hold it with the tweezer nose pliers and bend that end around. So now we need to clip the end flush at the back and then take the tweezer nose pliers to pinch in those little pokey ends and do any adjustments you need to make sure it's straight. And there's your teardrop. So to dangle the beads, you can use a head pin or create your own with a piece of wire. This is the 20 gauge wire. Make a little centered loop at the bottom, make it as small as you can, and just add your beads. So I have a variety of glass beads, I have miracle beads, I have a spacer bead. Anywhere between four and six millimeter is a good size for these earrings. And then you're going to cut it at about three eighths of an inch to form a loop at the top. So hold it with the round pliers, bend it at an angle and around to make a nice centered loop. So now we're going to slide it onto the loop on the teardrop and close up that wire. Adjust it as you need. Use the tweezer nose pliers to get in there. Make sure there's no little pokey ends. So there's the teardrop, the pear, and with the earring hooks. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.